Hey friends, welcome to my channel Creative Art. I am Nilima and today we are going to make our next plate wall decor and this is how beautiful and pretty it looks. The color combination given in this plate decor are really really very pretty and heart touching. We have used at least three to four shades of pink so do watch the complete video to make this beautiful plate decor yourself and this was the previous plate decor video in the same series of plate wall decors so friends please do watch the previous videos so that you can collectively make all this plate decors to decorate your wall and this one is going to be the upcoming next video so friends please do subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon to get notifications as soon as i publish my next video let's quickly check out the materials now friends first of all we are going to need this kind of a round plates this time I have selected at least 5 to 6 plastic plates. You can also use ceramic plates or glass plates. That is completely your choice. You should always select the size of the plate according to your display on wall. Next, for coloring, we are going to use Fevacryl glass colors. These are water based and available in 10 shades. Other than that, we have also got a new type of it which is Fevacryl glittering glass colors. These are the same water base but they have silver glitters in it which gives you a glittering shiny look with the additive glass colors. You can also make them yourself by adding this kind of fine pixie dust glitters in it. To know more about the glittering glass colors, please to watch my video glass painting using glittering glass colors. Next, for lining, we are going to use camel glass liners, which are also water-based and they are available in three colors. First, and the most commonly used one is 261 metallic gold camel glass liner. Next is 262 metallic silver glass liner and the other one is a metallic bronze glass liner. That one is quite a rare available. Other than that, you also get a black color glass liner with the Fevacryl glass coloring box. And if you don't get these glass liners, you can also use Camel Fabrica cone liner. They are available in variety of colors from green, white, purple, pink to metallic colors like gold, copper, silver and bronze. And friends, if you're not good in drawing, I have a special technique of tracing on plate using the carbon paper. And if you're good in drawing, I have got Apsara glass marking pencil. It also comes in variety of colors so you can easily draw on glass plate, ceramic plate or the plastic plates using this pencil. To secure, we are going to need tape and to make our colors permanent on our plate, we are going to use the best varnishes. To take precautions, you definitely always should have cotton buds because it's important to remove the bubbles. You'll know the trick in the painting. And you're going to need references like this. I'm going to publish a whole series of wall decors. And friends, you'll also get the whole list of these materials in the description box below with their links from where you can also buy them online. So let's start the video now, friends. Now, friends, first of all, using Clean Made or Alcohol, clean your plate and make it oil free. So spray a little bit of Clean Made, rub it all around on plate and then using a tissue paper napkin or any clean cloth clean the top surface of plate where we are going to start the painting part okay so now the plates are clean so now friends after my plates are clean using a scissor i'm going to cut my reference into the round shape i'm using a a4 size print which perfectly fits on a plate on a small plate with size about 20 to 21 centimeter in diameters okay so when your reference is being cut in the round shape place it on your plate in this way and you can see the design completely fits your plate so now place a carbon paper in between your plate and reference in this way hold the center in this way and using tape secure the end with the plate secure your reference carbon paper with the plate again hold the center stretch it out in this way secure it with tape we don't need this much part but it is ready now using any pen you have to go all over the design of these lines you can see 
and then you'll easily get an imprint of this design on your plate. So now friends, I have finally completed my tracing part. So I'm going to remove the secure sides. This is how the whole tracing part has come. So now friends, I'm going to start the lining part using 261 metallic gold camel glass liner. You can start it from any side you like to. So friends, in the same way, I'm going to complete the lining part and then show you how does it looks, okay? So now friends, I have finally completed doing the lining part and this is how our plate looks. If there are any misguided lines, you can easily clean them. So now we are going to start the coloring part and for that, we're going to use Fevacryl glass colors which are water-based and available in 10 shades. If you want to make other than any other shade, please do watch my video color mixing chart so that you can mix and make different colors like this so for coloring the leaves i'm going to use four different shades first is a dark green which is a combination of black and crystal green color second is crystal green color third is parrot green color which is a combination of crystal green and yellow color okay first of all i'm going to place the dark green color on all the leaves wherever there is a dark green part and then for shading i'm going to use the crystal green color now using the crystal green color and mixing it with the dark green color. The same I'm going to do for this part also using crystal green color. It's very simple to do this. You have to simply add the darker color first and then lighten up the surface using the lighter color. For example, I'm using the dark green color right now and after that using the, using the crystal green color I'll do the shading in this way. It easily gets mixed up. The first shading of leaves is completed. Now we are going to do the next shading for which the pad green color is going to be the mid shade. Crystal green color is going to be the darker shade and yellow is going to be the lighter shade. So first of all, you have to color the leaf using the mid shade which is pad green color. Then next, use the darker or the lighter shade to do the shading part. For this leaf, I'm going to use the crystal green color to do the shading. And here, I'll be using yellow color as light shade. Mix it with the pad green color. Now again, I'm using pad green color. And then using yellow color. Mixing it with pad green. The same I'm going to do with this all leaves. Finally, color the branches using the fine green color and yellow color. So now friends, I have finally completed doing the leaf coloring part and now we're going to start coloring the flowers. For that, I'm going to use purple color which is a mixture of ultramine blue and pink. Pink color, just a bit of ultramine blue to increase the darkness in purple and white. Okay, I'm also going to make a new color by adding pink color in red so this will give you a kind of dark pink color close the cap and mix it very well so this will give you a bit of a reddish pink and if you add purple or ultramine blue you will get this kind of pink color which is the most favorable to do okay so first of all i'm going to start with this bud and i'm going to use purple color start by placing few lines in this way then using the dark pink color after that give a single line this pink was made combining purple and pink and pink Got a little bit of pink and reddish color which we have made it gives a brilliant pink color and then add a teeny tiny drop of white and the colors will get mixed up themselves 
the same process we are going to do for this bud also first use the darker color which is purple then the second one which is a mixture of purple and pink is just a bit of the combination red and pink it gives a brilliant bright color in it and then finally add a drop of white it will itself get mixed up into the colors so need not worry and do not over bombard it if there are any adjustments I like to use a pin and make them so this is how you have to do the darker shading parts so in the same way friends I have colored this flower also I just missed the clip I'm very sorry for that but I'm going to do the same process over here so watch it carefully first place the purple color let it get dry for few seconds then place the dark pink mixing it with purple as it is a rainy season so I literally have to use a dryer sometime to dry the colors quick then the next one Finally add white and the shading will be done itself. This is how it looks. The same way I'm going to do it here. Okay, so now we are going to color this flower which, which is completely blue. So first of all, I'm going to use the dark pink color which is a mixture of pink and purple and give just a slight lining of it on all the edges of the flower. Then use the next darker color which is the combination of red and pink. And then finally use white color I'm going to keep major parts of this flower as white this time try to mix it with the pink and create a shade you have to give a good mix of white with the pink okay okay so this is how the shading part should look and this one this petal you observe is the darker one so in the same way i'm going to color it as dark as i have shown you in this parts and then finally i'll let it get dry and show you how does it looks okay so friends this is how beautiful our plate wall decor looks when the whole coloring part completed and has got dried up I have kept it for at least 24 hours to let it get dry completely so that it may give you such a finished look and I have also done the lining part once again on the flowers so that they may look lift up and brighter. This was the second plate decor in the plate wall decor series. So friends please subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you may get notified whenever I publish my next video in the series. There are so many questions how to preserve the plate, how to hang the this plate on walls so I'm going to answer all your questions in details in my last video of the series in which I'm going to place this beautiful plate decors on wall myself and I'm going to tell you all the tricks about it so be connected and enjoy your day friends